Hey, what's up guys? Today let's talk about push notifications in Ionic 2. Now, uh, I have been struggling with this for a long time and I have been looking on the internet app as well. And I could see that a lot of people are struggling like me to achieve this. So what I thought was I would go ahead and you know like make a video explaining how to do this in an easy way so that it would benefit you guys. So let's get started. First of all, oh, sorry. First of all, I have uh, you know like created an Ionic app, Ionic 2 app, and I'm not using TypeScript here, but probably it will be the same when you use TypeScript as well. So uh, no issues there. Uh, I have got my app open here. I haven't done anything else. Just created a new app. As you can see, I've got my app open here. Before before we start working on this app, we need to do uh, two things. One is registering, I mean creating uh, and registering on GCM. We need a GCM server key that is Google Cloud Messaging. We are going to use Google Cloud Messaging since this is an uh, Android application which I am going to do. So we'll be using Google Cloud Messaging for our push notification uh, as our push notification server. So let's see how to do that. Uh, I'll just open this up and then this is, uh, I'll go ahead and create a new project. Uh, Ionic, Ionic, oh sorry, Ionic push, okay, then I'll click on create. we wait for this to create let's just go back to uh, a terminal and then you what you need to do here is uh, give ionic io init okay okay so why did i do this right so uh, by doing this i'm telling ionic that i have an app these are my apps ionic apps as of now this uh, ionic.io in ionic.io I am just telling this that I have a new app Ionic 2 Push. You can get, see that, right? The, my app name is Ionic 2 Push. Now it has been registered with uh, uh, Ionic.io. So uh, now what we need is uh, just click on this. That's exactly what we did using Ionic.io. Uh, in it, see Ionic.io in it. The command. Uh, now it will ask before you can send push notifications you will need to create a security profile with ios or android uh, credentials right so if you click on configure profiles and give new security profile i will just give a push uh, so okay and then i am clicking create click on edit android it asks for a gcm api key right so in order to get this i am just going here this is the new project which i created just now so I'll just copy this project number. Okay. Uh, this will be the sender ID which I'll be using. Uh, I'll show you guys. Okay. Now uh, click on enable and manage APIs. And then in this just click on uh, Google Cloud Messaging. Here click on enable. This will be enabled for us now. Okay, now it's asking us to create a credential, right? So I'll just go to credentials and then create credentials, API key. Here I just click on server key. And uh, this will be like whatever push server, something like that. And then I just get create, give create. The key is given, right? Just copy that and then uh, paste it here. Now it's done, right? Now, if you just click here, edit, and then Android, it will show GCM credentials are configured for this profile, right? So, uh, this is done for us now. I'll just give save here, and uh, we have created uh, this thing as well. I mean, uh, GCM key as well. So uh, let's go back to our app now and then open up app.ts. Now before uh, starting off, I mean starting to write code, let me tell you one thing. 
this ionic cloud angular is a wrapper for ionic 2 uh, that was specifically created for this ionic cloud uh, pay, i mean ionic cloud list of services so uh, what this provides as of now is this things auth user push deploy etc so uh, now we will make use of this uh, cloud client and then uh, try to achieve the push notifications in our ionic app so uh, as per their documentation i'll just give this command sorry right okay uh, now that this is done let us come back to our uh, application and then import that import uh, what was that uh, push right push from uh, ionic Stay here. Let me just check up with the documentation once again. I only cloud angle. Sorry, this copy this. No hyphen. Yeah, that's done. Okay, now uh, we'll go ahead and make use of this push in our uh, platform dot ready dot in. Okay. Uh, here, what I'll give is where Raja equal to new push. And then inside this, I'll write my configs. That is, uh, plugin config. Uh, this is Android, and this should have a field called sender. Sender ID, I guess. I forgot. Please let me just go ahead and open up the uh, documentation for that. So that you know, I'll just copy it from here. A much easier way, right? And it also saves time. Okay, uh, now that we have the configuration exactly for the this sender ID, we need to give the project uh, number which we copied. Okay, uh, now uh, the next thing we need to do is I save this. The next thing we need uh, now I have created a push object, I would guess, and then uh, I have given a configuration for that. So now what you need to do is you need to register this, right? Raja dot register, and upon registration you will get a token. Uh, what you will do is I'll just Raja dot save token. Uh, token. Okay, it's a very simple uh, thing. Uh, the token. Uh, upon registration the token is passed back and the token is returned which i am then getting and writing uh, saving it to a uh, using save token so uh, what i'll do is now that i have written this part uh, what else do i need to do go back to the documentation i guess oh yeah the constant cloud settings this i have to do right so i'll just go ahead and give it here since it's constant cloud settings I need to import right so cloud settings yeah so now uh, oh app id app id I'll just get it from here sorry yeah I have given this right now this would be enough if you just use uh, some service like authentication or something but for uh, push especially we need to give the gcm key if you are doing it for an android app so i'll just give gcm underscore key and then uh, give it here and this would be uh, my this sender id guys gcm key would be the sender id so i'll just copy this and paste it here uh, okay now so far what we have done is uh we have created i mean we have made just made use of that ionic cloud angular repo in our application and then we have used the push service from that to you know like uh, register for a token and then we are receiving the token and saving it that's all so uh, what we need to do this this cloud settings we need to bootstrap along with this app right so uh, we can directly give it as provide right provide it yeah we can directly give it as provide as per the documentation so i'll just give a comma here and you know paste it see this what's the error oh provide cloud id import okay just provide 
now everything is done as far as the app is concerned i guess so uh, let's go ahead and maybe i just should confirm this with the docs i'll just open up the docs here in a new tab sorry guys i just you know like i'll just give full setup so that uh, this thing we did like your account creation security profile and all details everything is done now ionic uh, plugin add phone lab this we didn't do right this we can't do because you know like uh, that was for the version 1.0 it needs bower obviously but uh, since we are using ionic 2 uh, we'll just skip that and go ahead with this this platform we client is the one which we are using it as cloud angular right so uh, uh, where was it yeah i'll just go here and then paste it here instead of this project number we need to give this right yeah this is done uh, now what we need to do is go ahead and this we did it right so do this to set dev push to false okay that's done uh, now code we have taken care of now uh, just we need to send a push and test whether all these works out fine so uh, what I thought was rather than sending a push notification from here uh, using this CURL command to send a push notification we could just directly send a push notification from the uh, what was that uh, ionic.io apps.ionic.io dashboard itself so let's see uh, let's go ahead and send a push and see whether that works before doing that let me connect my mobile here give me a minute guys okay now I have connected my uh, mobile phone and then uh, let's just you know screencast this so that you can you guys can see so uh, let me just open up uh, 7 square so first of all I'll just type adb devices to check whether my, uh, my device is showing up now I'll just open up 7 square so that I can you know screencast my device on here guys yeah as you can see my device is screencasted over here let's just send a push notification to this device and check whether uh, we are able to receive that on the device so to do that first i'll just you know uh, there is a quick way and an easy way of doing this guys the easy way is the one which i'll be showing you today just click on push here and then uh, you know like create your first push here whatever name you want to give just give it here and I'll just give this to it and then uh, here I'll just give uh, hello from Ionic and then here I'll just give hello Ajat. okay uh, now that I have given this I just can't send it now right because I haven't yet installed the app on my mobile device so to first I'll go ahead and do that I'll open up my terminal and then just give uh, ionic run and all okay our app is launched now uh, I'll just you know Go ahead and close this because the whole point of push notifications is that our notifications get pushed on to the user right so uh, let's just send this and see what happens and just give continue here and then uh, I'll just you know like resize this so that you guys can see I'm giving all users here and then giving continue again I'll use the security profile which I created back then the push server one and then you send this push it is push and it is here and here you can see the push notification right you just go ahead and open that up 
hello from ionic hello raja this is the test push which we sent here if you guys remember right hello from ionic hello raja with the push so this is how uh, you implement push notifications using the ionic cloud uh, angular repo a uh, lot of other services like authentication and uh, various other uh, deploy etc have been uh, bundled along with that as well i'll just you know make more tutorials about those in the forthcoming videos uh so yeah guys that's what i wanted to show you guys today i hope you learned this uh the easy way the hard way which i mentioned that time would be to use curl to send a push notification but then you need to have the device token uh and the api key and uh the profile name which in the push profile name right push serve, that is what yeah, you need to include all three in the command prompt so i thought rather than you know taking a roundabout way i'll just go ahead and show you an easy way of how this is done so this is how uh, basically you would uh, use push push notifications in our uh, you could receive push notifications in your uh, ionic 2 app guys so you might ask what if the app is open if the app is open there will be a specific uh, service called on noti on notification and you will write some functions to handle that on notification so the uh if the app is open the push notification won't you know like get pushed into the notification tray uh so yeah that's what would happen so yeah guys this is what i wanted to share with you today so i know a lot of people are out there uh, looking for implementing push notifications in ionic 2 kindly share this video uh with all those guys and then you know you could help them too i hope this was helpful to you guys and if you found this helpful kindly hit on the like button so that you know it would be some sort of appreciation to me guys so yeah that's what i wanted to show you basically uh, maybe we'll just send one more push and then you know sign off this video and then i'll just go ahead and you continue here all users continue profile push so send this to receive that right bye guys good luck so yeah this is how you do it guys so uh, hope this video was helpful to you guys i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye